Lesson 3.2, count and write to six. In this lesson, we count up to six, and we write the number six and the word six right and left-handed. We can show six as five, one, two, three, four, five, and one more. Five and one more is six. We have five in the top row, we have one in the bottom row. And we can show six as three, one, two, three rabbits, and one, two, three rabbits. We have three in the top row and three in the bottom row. We have one, two, three, four, five, six rabbits. And the last counting word will be the number of objects in the set. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six is the last counting word, so that's the number of rabbits in the set, six. Here we have the number six, and we can trace it with our right finger. We start at the top, we curve around, and we come in at the dashed line here, and we close it off. Let's try it again. It looks like it's curved with a circle or ball at the bottom. We curve down and around, and we curl up to the dashed line and close the circle. We can do it with our left hand. We start here, we curve down, we come around to the dashed line, and we close the circle. Let's try it again. We start here, we come down in a curve, we come to the dashed line, and we close the circle. We can write the number six with our right hand like this. We start here at the top. We curve down. We curl up to the dashed line and close the circle. Let's try it again. We start here. We curve down and around. We curl back up to the dashed line and we close the circle. We can write the word six, S I. X. We start here at the dashed line. We come up and curve around and we go this way and then come back like that. That's our S. For our I, we start at the dashed line. We come down and we put a dot right up here above the dashed line. And for our X, we start over here. We pull towards our hand. Then we come over here and come down away from our hand, six. We can write it with our left hand, holding the pen like this. We start at the top line. We come curved down and around to the dotted line, and we close the circle. Let's try it again. We come down and around in a curl. Go to the dashed line and close the circle. And for the left-handers, to write the word six, S-I-X, we make the S just like the right-handed people. We start here, we pull towards our hand, go away from our hand, and go towards our hand again. For the I, we just start at the dashed line and come down to the bottom line, and we put our dot above the dashed line. And for our X, we start over here, and we pull it towards our hand. Then we come over here and push away from our hand. Six. We saw that we can show six as a five and a one, and we saw that we can show it as a three and a three. Well, we can also show six as a four and a two. We have one, two, three, four, and two more is five, six. There are four in the top row, four cars, and there's two cars in the bottom row. It's a way to show six, four and two. We can write the number six. We come down and around to the dashed line and close it off. Six cars. Here we have a lot of families. We need to count the people and then circle the sets of six people. 
in this family, there's one, two, three, four people. That's not six. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, we can circle this one. There are six people in this family. How many people are in this family? Do you know? Can you count them? Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five. There are five people in that family. That's not six. We need six people. We can count this one. One, two, three, four, five. There's five people in this family. Let's count the people in this family. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can circle this one. There's six people in this family. How many people are in this family? Let's count them. One, two, three. There's three people in that family. That's not six. We've circled this family with six and this family with six people. How many families do we see? Let's count the families. One, two, three, four, five, six families. There are six families and two of the families have six people. Here are four strawberries. One, two, three, four. How many more strawberries do we need to have six strawberries? Do you know? We have one, two, three, four. If we put another one, we'll have five. And if we put another one, we'll have six. We needed one, two strawberries, more than the four, to have six strawberries. We needed two more. Here we have some families again. We need to find Tala's family. Tala's family has a number of people that is two less than six. We need to find her family and circle it. Do you know which family is two less than six? We can draw six counters. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we can cross out two of them to make it two less. We can cross off this one and this one. We can see we have one, two, three, four counters left. That means two less than six is four. We need to find a family with four people. Do you see Tala's family? If you said this one, you're right. One, two, three, four. This is Tala's family. It's two less than six. So we can show six as five and one. We can show it as three and three. We can show it as four and two. If we need to find two less than six, we can draw six counters and cross off two of them, then count how many are left over. In our next lesson, 3.3, we're going to model and count to seven. Have a wonderful day, and I hope you'll join me for next time. Bye.